Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, bello. So, what about the Spiderco? The Spiderco saga. So, um, I try to find a way to sharpen it. It comes as a, probably as a quick reminder, it comes out, this is a ceramic blade that comes from the maker, from the Spiderco, uh, not sharp, uh, dull. I tried everything uh, with more modern and more homemade techniques and still is not sharp. But so the question arises and is, what is this blade for? Why did they make it? And uh, uh, if it's not possible to sharpen it, and uh, what kind of use is this for? So I think that since one selling point of this kind of uh, new high impact ceramic is uh, the resistance to bending, to chipping, uh, more, I mean, uh, higher resistance than the, the, uh, the knives in ceramic that are already available. Now, I think that the test that is uh, make it or break it for this blade is whether it can at least carve a little bit without breaking, carve a little bit of work, the, the wood, or even drop uh, from, I mean, not too high, without breaking or chipping. So let's start with uh, with a wood that is not that hard, is actually softened by the rain that these days was coming here. And okay, it is hard to work it because of the dull edge, but let's see if it stands a chance with the uh, simple work without breaking. Let's see. Of course, it's a little bit difficult even because it doesn't have a handle yet. Uh, I would say that so far, so good. So it is working actually. It's making a good point of the of the wood. And I have to say that it is as sharp or as dull as when I started. This is actually very good. Let's see if I can work a little bit more. Okay, so I think that this test is actually a pass for, for the blade. And uh, let's see if it can handle something a little bit more difficult for the blade. So I guess that we can have a look with the... Ah, it doesn't make any feather. It's too difficult. It's too difficult, but you know, it's because it's dull and it doesn't have a handle. Okay, my dog is coming. It might be part of the game. Let's say that I guess you could still start a fire. I mean, it's not that good, but it can, it can still work. And uh, yeah, the blade is intact. Let's see with something else like 
working a little bit harder wood. I'm gonna use uh, the cortex, the skin, so called. Oh, I mean, I call it skin. I, I think it's called cortex of the of a of a tree. And uh, let's see, Momo, welcome, Momo, watch out, watch out. Let's see if I can make some carving, although it's extremely difficult because of the blade without a handle. Let's see. Okay, this one is a little bit of a harder wood. I'm gonna try. actually goes in let's see Some work can be done, okay? Even if it's this dull and is very, very resistant. It's actually perfectly intact. The, there is no chipping. The edge is still as it was before. Actually, this is very good. Let's see now if uh, it can handle uh, some kind of uh, uh, wood chopping, if I, if it's possible to do actually.
Uh, holy shit. It's so hard without a handle. Uh, so painful. What do we do for science? Okay, so the, the blade is still intact, which is already an achievement. It feels as before. My hand is destroyed, but it looks good, actually. Let's see with the, the toughest of all the tests for this kind of blade, uh, the, the last two, I would say. We have done already some batoning. I would do a little bit more, maybe still on a kind of wood of this kind, because I don't think anyway, with this kind of blade, you would do anything different if you need to make fire, any different than what, than what we have done so far. So, I will put this one here. And let's see. For the sake of trying it, if it works. Okay. Let's go a little bit to the tip of the blade. Okay, this was easy. Let's find something a little bit more, a little bit more challenging, and let's see if it still works through the wood. So I've changed location, as you can see. I still have my beautiful skin, and uh, I think that now we we can try probably something that is the the worst for. For this kind of blade for a ceramic blade which is batoning uh, probably you wouldn't do it unless you really have to do it in a survival situation with this kind of blade uh, but you know here we are here to test so let's do the testing let's do the batoning first of all we'll see if it goes through So now you can see it's very difficult to go through because of the shape of the blade, the bevel and so on. But I mean, it's not meant for this. Uh, but let's see if it goes. Time the neighbor is passing by with his tractor. Okay, I'm hammering the, the point, the tip of the blade. I'm really hammering, and it doesn't break yet. Let's see. Looks like it is going through. Okay, 
So it looks like it has passed the test. I mean, it didn't break the edge. I mean, this is not a test for edge retention, but for chipping can still chip. It doesn't look like it's there's anything uh, different from uh, the beginning with this blade and especially I mean the tip is still intact it's very pointy and uh, the blade is in perfect condition I hope you can see and uh, even the tip so now let's see I think with the most aggressive test for this kind of blade well, actually I mean I don't know if it's the most ag aggressive but it is another test I mean if it's, this is meant to be a blade uh, for bushcraft I mean as long as I mean I was I was not happy with this kind of blade I didn't know what you could use it for but now I think that as long as uh, you or I, we will find a way to sharpen it. It's actually very useful even in a bushcraft situation. But let's see in a, I mean, more self-defense situation. So this is soft. It's kind of try to begin with Momo. Just a second, Momo. Go, 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 go. Okay. Tip is still okay. Let's see. With a harder wood, the wood that we brought before. It's so painful. Okay, so Kai okay, pass me passing by and uh, I mean it is I don't think there is any no, it didn't break at all. It is perfectly intact, even the tip of the blade. I hope you can see. So I think that overall, I mean, it's a, it could become a very good with a handle, a very good, very good uh, uh, knife but so now the last question is since this is very expensive is it really better than a normal kitchen knife so let's test even the kitchen knife with uh, some batoning Okay, this kitchen knife is a little bit sharper, so with the batoning should be easier. It's a little bit bigger, the blade has a handle, thank God. And uh, the bevel, I don't know if you can see, is basically flat up to here. And then the, the bevel starts here without any secondary bevel. It is, uh, as I said, a little bit sharper than the, the spider core, which is not so difficult. So let's see, and it's a kitchen knife. So actually the batoning is very good. Let's see with this wood, with this kind of wood. Not chipping. Bites, of course it bites much better, the, the wood.
this was the 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 wood and it actually didn't resist as you can see this is exactly what you can expect from a kitchen knife and uh, to be honest the kind of uh, shape of the blade is more prone to, to chipping so uh, it's a test that is not really comparing to exactly the same knives but I think it is te te uh, telling the fact that the new high impact ceramic of Spaderco I think has a much better chance to resist to chipping than the previous ceramic that was available. So I hope you can see here there is a big basically it's not just a chipping is a uh, a loss of uh, of material there which which is quite a lot so i think that this test um uh, we can conclude that uh, the, the the high impact ceramic of spiderco could be a very good new material for knives as long as they can tell us how to sharpen it basically here we are with final thoughts on uh, the spider core blade. So it has been uh, uh, treated really badly today. I mean, I was really tough on it. A lot of marks of my banging on it. The blade though is still perfect. The little edge that it has is intact. There is no, it's still as dull as it was before. Let's see with the paper. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do it like this because it's pretty bad as it is, as it was already before. So it's pretty dull, but it's intact. While instead the the blade, the still the other ceramic blade uh, the, of the kitchen knife is gone. Um, I'm not saying. I mean, of course, the the kind of um, uh, um, geometry of the two blades is different. The thickness is different, as you can see. Uh, both at the back and at the, at the edge um, this one has a bevel that goes from two-thirds to the end this one has only the micro bevel at the end but i have to say that uh, when i started doing the video ciao momo the um, my impressions were very negative. Uh, I mean, I didn't know what this blade was for, and uh, I couldn't understand why they came out with this kind of uh, new ceramic. But now I can see the point. I mean, it is very hard uh, and not brittle to the point of losing uh, parts of the of the ceramic while um, doing heavy duty work on on, uh, on wood. Uh, this kind of, I'm not sure that if this kind of, of technology will be used uh, even in longer blades, but for short blades like this one, I think it, it might have an, a, um, a future. Actually, they might have uh, really something here in their hands if they come out with a way, uh, a simpler way to, to sharpen it. Or at least to make this blade uh, cheaper and have it sharp right from the factory so if they combine the two things with the ability of uh, ceramic blades to keep the edge they are well renowned for that and that's why they are used in the, in the kitchen uh, uh, arena um, 
if they come out with already a, a, a good edge and uh, a cheaper price, a very cheap price, then they have something. Or, uh, as I was saying, if they come out with an easy way to sharpen it. I think I will now, I didn't want to, I mean, I was going to or resell it or I don't know what to do with it, but actually now I think I'm going to put a handle and see if, do even more investigation to see if I can uh, find a way to, to sharpen. It was, overall, it was fun today, actually. I enjoyed, first of all, the, the nice weather and uh, even to have some uh, action uh, with the blade. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and um, see you next time.